everyone, it's Shannon here for Waffle Flower Crafts. In this video, we are going to create this bright and cheery card using the new Happy Gnome stamp set, as well as the classic holiday sentiment stamp set from Waffle Flower Crafts. I'm going to start my project with the Happy Gnomes combo set. The set comes with the Happy Gnomes stamp set, as well as the Happy Gnomes matching die set in the back. I'm going to stamp several images from this set onto a piece of Bristol paper. This is just a scrap. So I've arranged five gnomes here as well as two little rabbits from the set and a candy cane. I'm going to pick them up with my Misty and then I'm going to stamp all these images in with VersaFine Onyx Black ink. I'm using Bristol Smooth paper today instead of regular white cardstock because I'm going to do some watercoloring with my Tombow Dual Brush pens. And this paper is very smooth and the ink just kind of glides right over it. So now that I have all my images stamped, I've got my paper here on my water media mat. I'm going to start with my marker direct to paper. And the markers I'm using are on screen so you can follow along. Once I get some of that ink down, I'll then take a damp brush and just kind of blend out that color a little bit. I'm now working on the little hands on this gnome. And this is a very simple coloring process. Once I've got that kind of that skin tone down, I'm going to scribble out a little pink down onto my work surface, pick it up with my slightly damp brush just to color in those cheeks just a little bit, just to add a little bit of rosiness to those cheeks. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to move on to the hat. I picked out a nice bright red for this hat and you can see on the left here I have some of my colors picked out. That rainbow of colors over there is going to be the primary colors and color all the clothing on these little gnomes. So I have a red, a pink, an orange, a yellow, a blue, and a green. So basically a rainbow of colors. I wanted this card to have a really bright and cheery feel so that I've chose kind of like a rainbow palette and I think it works well for a Christmas card as well. Actually my um, Christmas tree is uh, rainbow, rainbow and silver. <laughs> so now I'm working on his beard, just a little light light gray for that. Then I'm moving on to another uh, one of my rainbow colors. This is the green. I'm going to color his little top here with the green and I'm basically going to use these, let's see, pink, red, yellow, orange, blue, green, these six rainbow colors for the clothing. I just did a blue for his pants, now a yellow for his buttons, those go really fast. Then I have a really dark gray, basically a black picked out for the boots. I'm going to color those in and once I finish that, this little gnome guy is done. I'm now going to move on to another gnome. This is one of the girl ones. Now as you can see here, she's mostly colored. I'm just used an orange for her pants, so that's a new color. I didn't use an orange on that first gnome guy. And then I colored her boots and now I'm adding a shadow to the white stripes on her, her um, scarf. This little bit of blue just kind of adds a little bit of shadow so it looks like it has some volume or some depth to it. And then I have a different color picked out for her skin tone. I picked a darker brown, colored her in, and then I'm going to use an even darker brown for her hair. So once I get kind of the outline colored with that darker brown, then I'll take that damp brush and just kind of blend that out so it kind of creates a nice little gradation over the surface. Again, I'll add some rosy cheeks by scribbling a pink down onto my work surface then picking it up with a damp brush. I've basically colored all my gnomes here. I'm just finishing up my second girl. Just wanted to point out that I used a different yellow there to color her hair. And now I'm moving on to the bunnies. So the bunnies, I'm going to do my same method for white, which is take a blue, kind of go a really light blue, go around the edge and then blend it out. And then once I've got that nice and blended out, I'll grab a pink and I will add a little pink to the inner part of the ear as well as the cheek and then just blend that out a little bit as well. Once I finish this standing or upright bunny, I'm going to do this one seated. <laughs> and I just love these little bunnies. Aren't they so cute? I love how kind of rounded they look. And I'm just going to finish that up with a little bit of pink for the cheek as well. So now that all my images are colored, I went ahead and die cut them out with the matching dies. And now I'm going to move on to my background. I have an A2 top folding card base here made out of white cardstock and I've grabbed some clear contact paper and I just cut a little piece off this corner here. It's bigger or it's wider than four and a fourth so it's going to fit beyond the front of my card front and I just fussy cut it just to make a gentle slope. So just hand cut that, nothing really fancy, no dies used. 
and I've just removed the backing on the contact paper, placed it on to my card front, and then I'm going to do some really simple ink blending, and this is going to create the look of kind of like snow, snow slopes. So I have tumbled glass distress oxide here, just ink blended right along that edge of the contact paper, and once I've ink blended one slope, I'll then remove the contact paper, move it down, place it down, and then ink blend some more. So I'm just continuing to create these little gentle slopes uh, on the front of my card. And now that I've finished, I'm just going to ink blend the very bottom a little bit with that tumbled glass, and that will actually finish kind of my background. All I have left to do now is my sentiment. This is the classic holiday sentiment stamp set. Lots of great little sentiments in here. I'm going to use the Merry and Bright. I've already dried my card base thoroughly with my heat gun, so all of that ink blending that I did is completely dried. And I've arranged my gnomes here so I can figure out where I want that sentiment to go. Then I picked up my sentiment, and now I'm going to grab a pre piece of press and seal, place it on top of my card front to pick up all those gnomes, all my die cuts, so I don't waste any time rearranging those images again. So I just remove that, set that aside, and I'm going to do some heat embossing. So I applied some anti-static powder, then uh, inked up my sentiment in Versamark ink. Now I'm going to pour on some silver embossing powder and then I'll just tap off the excess and then heat set with my heat tool and that will complete my sentiment. Now all I have to do is kind of bring this all together. So I have all my gnomes here on my press and seal. I'm just going to add some liquid glue to the back side of each of these gnomes and the rabbit and the candy cane, then flip it back over and then stick it right onto the front of my card. Once I kind of have everything back in position, I'll then carefully remove the press and seal. And because I use liquid glue, I have a little bit of wiggle room here to kind of adjust these uh, gnomes a little bit more, but that will actually complete my card. All I have left to do is just do a little bit of glue on that candy cane and my card is done. And I'll hold this card up to the camera so you can get a good look at all the details in this card, including that really simple ink blended background to the easy watercoloring that I did with Tombow Dual Brush pens and these super, super cute gnomes and funny. Just love this set illustrated by Liz Mytinger. She is amazing, so talented. I hope you guys enjoyed today's card and video. If you'd like any more information on the products I use, please head over to Waffle Flower and you can follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for more creative ideas. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.